as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you on our way back from Sturgis we decided we wanted to go on a road we'd never been on it was about 400 miles out of our way and two days longer but we enjoyed it I hope you enjoy what little video I got of it I don't know what happened. I'd been looking forward to taking the video off my motorcycle on this highway which starts out in Washington at Clarkston and heads south on 129 and runs all the way down through Oregon on Highway 3. It is some of the most crooked road I have ever been on. Unfortunately, my camera shut off. I got the beginning and part of the end. This road has corners on it, a good share of it. I think 47 miles of road that is less than 35 miles an hour with corners one right after the other that are 15 miles per hour. Also, it has many potholes that for some reason they have marked with white paint rather than fixing them. It was an awesome road. I'm glad I went on it once. If you like cornering, this is it. I don't know how much of this I'll play. A lot of the corners, you can hear my floorboards scraping as we went around even on these gentler corners that I did get on video. And we went down to Joseph that's where we got on the more windy road. You can also go from Joseph to Le Grand and then get on the freeway. But we wanted to experience this road and we did. Unfortunately, my buddy was on a trike following me and it just about kicked his butt. We could corner pretty good, but don't take your track down this road unless you're going to go very slow. This part of the road is before Joseph. It's a pretty good road. Nice, gentle curves, nice and wide. Light traffic, almost non-existent traffic on the other side of Joseph. Matter of fact, one of the guys had a little problem and we pulled over and I bet we were there 45 minutes and never had a car pass us either way. So if you like solitude, that's a good place to be.
This part right here is right next to Hell's Canyon. We could have gone over uh, to a viewpoint, which was about three miles. But we didn't. This is the uh, river bridge we're passing over there. Now we're back into Idaho, out of Oregon. Headed towards Cambridge for the night. I think you can see parts of the dam here and there. We don't stop much once we're on a road that we enjoy. Yeah, there was a scrape. I don't know if you heard it or not. But even on this side of the canyon, the speed limit's only 20 miles an hour. And they mean it in a lot of places. There's part of the dam right there. Had a lot of water this year, so the dam is almost full. Or I should say, the reservoir is almost full. Keep in mind, this is the straightest part of the whole road. Right after this video stopped, we got into some more curves and wooded area. That's where we saw a black bear, about four foot tall, standing there looking at us. I don't know if he was hitchhiking or what. We didn't stop. A little further down, we ended up herding some cows down the road to get out of our way. And then, right after this video ends, a deer ran out in front of me, and I had to lock up both brakes, front and rear. Luckily, the bike went straight as an arrow. I got close enough to the deer that I could not see his legs behind the fairing. So I'm guessing he must have been three feet away from my front fender. But he and I both were very happy that I got stopped and he went on across the road. This may be a road you should try. Just be careful. Thanks for watching.